to Jack Bros. Two Jack Bros. Welcome back to Two Jack Bros. And if it's your first time, welcome and thank you for giving us a shot. I am Sydney. I am sitting next to Ansley. Hello. And today our guest is none other than the Ryan Foster. What is up? What's up, Ryan Foster? <laughs> I'm chilling, baby. How are you doing? Hell guys? yeah. And you can catch Ryan Foster and Peggy O'Leary every week at J.J. Malone's doing their Lovable Monsters Showcase. Very fun show. I did it myself. Had a great time. Great great audience. Loved it. Uh, also, do all the things you do to show love to a podcast. Rate, review, subscribe, all of that stuff. Be sure to check out our Patreon. More on that later. Ryan, what the fuck is up? Chilling, baby. How I'm good. You? Mildly hungover, but I'm good. I expected that from you. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually, I'm either getting ready to get drunk or I'm recovering from a hangover. Yeah, I didn't know which phase I wanted to catch you in, but I guess no, this I'm good. Is, <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> On a Sunday morning, you only have like one option, right? Yeah, right. I got a Red Bull from the deli down the street. I'm back. Oh, hell yeah. You're Red Bulled up. Yeah. Yeah, you're good. good to go. Yeah, you're a whole man now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hell yeah. <laughs> my juices are flowing. Sick. Put those juices back, Brian. <laughs> Keep the juices. No juices yeah. flowing in this day. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Ryan, are you familiar with what we do on this podcast? I am not. I know awesome. you guys like oh. center people's chi or something, right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like some kind of yeah. I see yeah. crystals. You better sit in Lotus right now. Can you do that? I can, can, can go Lotus. You can get Lotus. Yeah, All I right, can. we'll get a picture of that later. Jeez. Hell yeah. <laughs> so basically, what we do is the premise of this podcast is to prove that you can have a dark sense of humor and still reach enlightenment or a higher consciousness. So what we do is we take our guest, who is you today, through the process of enlightenment, one chakra at a time, so that us and the guests, or in the, the, the viewing and listening audience, get to laugh their way to our higher consciousness without doing all of the work you're about to do. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that's what I was going to do, but I'm yeah. down. Let's Almost do it. Almost prefer it that way. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's way more fun this way. So... Everybody gets the same questions. Yeah. And the first, you know, the little icebreaker question, and then we just open up the chakras from there. Let's do it. All right? Ansley, take it away. Ryan, what situation or event did you learn the most information from? <sighs> did I learn the most information from? I, uh, when I was, I guess, 13, 12 or 13, I found, <laughs> I found out that my stepdad wasn't my dad. <laughs> like my <laughs> like not my parents didn't like lie to me and tell me my stuff. I just didn't put it together, and eventually my mom was like, "Hey, so uh, my parents like just told me yeah. that yeah. my biological dad wasn't around." And I was like, "Oh, well." Shout out to stepdad for stepping up oh, so yeah. big. He's the one who stepped up. Shout big. out Drew, dude. Yeah, <laughs> goodness gracious, what yeah. up, Drew? Shout out, dog. <laughs> Also, shame on you for stepdad and another man's son. What the fuck is that, <laughs> yeah, Drew? Some bitch shit. How dare you, Drew? <laughs> so yeah. you, you found this out when you were 13? I so think I was like 12, maybe 12. W yeah. When do you remember him coming into your life? My stepdad? Yeah. Well, so my my mom and stepdad have known each other since they were like kids. My my stepdad's mom and my mom's mom went to high school together. Okay. So they grew up like around the corner from each other. My mom had me, and then she got together with my... I think they got married when I was two, so I don't remember gotcha. him He's not being there. around. So, yeah. 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 Did you did you immediately, like, want to know who your biological dad was? And, uh, like... I think I was, like... I was, like, a bad kid, so I think they, like... Uh, I think my mom was kind of like, I think he's a, because I was getting taller, and I remember like looking around like, how the fuck am I as tall as my stepdad? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? He's like 5'8". So I was like, this doesn't, I don't look like anyone. I was like, what's happening? You're, wait, yeah. you're, your stepdad's 5'8"? Yeah. And you're like 6'3", right? I'm like 6'5", yeah. 6'5"? <laughs> <laughs> but I was like just starting to, yeah, I think, yeah, so I must have been a little older. Maybe, yeah, I must have been 12 or 13. Yeah, yeah. I have like no concept of time. I'm so bad with yeah. like when people say like years, like remember nine. I'm like I don't know. So you were you were basically like five nine at this point. Yeah, <laughs> I was big. Yeah, so you could have been like ten. <laughs> yeah, I could have been, and I just yeah, I don't look like any of my siblings. I like let my siblings. They all have like dark hair, like more Italian yeah. looking. Okay, and, and like, so you're yeah. the oldest of all the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how many do you have? I have three siblings. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so did, have you ever seen or met your biological? Yeah, father? I met him a few times. Found out I had two. I had two older brothers I didn't know about. He a big wow. boy. Who your dad? Uh, your yeah, biological. He's big, dad. Yeah, he's big. Bigger than you Six, still. Um, yeah, he's like fat, fat yeah, guy. Yeah, he's like yeah, a barrel chested yeah. Kenzo. You know, like beer belly guy. And then, so, what was the? If you don't mind me asking, like, Go what was it. the reason there was so much 
lack of communication from two to whenever you started I mean, you know, I get like different, <laughs> I get different. It depends how she wants to present it <laughs> to oh, me, basically. Yes. So it was like, it was like, she was basically got like the, uh, well, do you want me to tell you? Re- I just found out recently that my, my mom had me with her best friend's husband. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. The plot <laughs> yeah. So she was like, okay, you're, dead. you're yeah. allowed to step that in that situation. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you come into a situation where a woman has had a, a child with her best friend's husband, yeah. you can step that with a pretty guiltless conscience. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a fun origin uh, story yeah. for you. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My I mom. mean, it's fun for him, not necessarily <laughs> for his dad. No. Yeah. His biological dad. Anyway, yeah. His stepdad's crushing it. No, yeah. he's yeah. crushing it. He's the yeah. man. He yeah. basically came in and calmed the lady down. Yeah. <laughs> he had to you know tame, I mean? tamed yeah. my yeah. mom. Yeah. He did. He domesticated yeah. her. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. My mom was, a, yeah. So. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your mom was living her best life. Yeah. <laughs> Was your mom and that best friend? Do they have any sort of relationship, or was like that uh, was the not end of anymore? It? Uh, like uh, I know they were they stayed friends, so I never got like the whole story. Like, yeah, because I met like I remember because my mom like they told a story. My older brother almost drowned in my grandmother's above ground swimming pool. We had an older <laughs> not brother? white trash at all. Yeah, oh, very <laughs> white trash. So I, yeah, I found out I had two older siblings. Oh right, right, yeah, okay. And then um. Yeah, so they had been around because I remember my mom being like, "Well, your dad was like a like a womanizer, basically." So she was like, "I didn't want anything to do with him." And then I remember I'm like, "You told me that <laughs> my brother fell in the pool when he was two. I'm like, so you guys were still like, what are, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you get like yeah, you get slip ups in the story. So I'm like, Wait, so those older brothers are they? They're not your mom and biological no, dad. No, they're my kids. dad. Your dad's and his okay. ex-wife yeah gotcha gotcha okay. gotcha interesting <laughs> so when so have you met the best friend have you seen her in your I've life met, as a yeah kid? I've, i'd met her when i went because i met my dad then i would go stay weekends in his neighborhood and mm-hmm. she was around it was weird like he still lived with her oh. he was like kind of one of them guys like always floating between chicks like dating a girl for a beach house kind of guy <laughs> you know what <laughs> i mean like he's like i had a boat i need somewhere to put the boat he's like nice. one of those dudes. yeah what did your mom have I think my mom's just cool. I don't know. Yeah, just bomb, bomb puss. <laughs> yeah, she's just bang, banging pussy, apparently. I mean, <laughs> she was engaged in seven times. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Like she would get basically get engagement rings from dudes and then just bounce. She's hot. She's a hot lady. <laughs> she's a hot mom. She's a hot lady. Yeah, yeah. you can, yeah, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, because any other... If you find out of a woman's been engaged, you're not landing three, seven. Yeah, three, <laughs> like <laughs> three is like all yeah. right. Let's, everybody you, stop dealing with her. Yeah, you, you could know? be like, let's luck. Yeah, <laughs> like, you start. Yeah, yeah. You have to switch hands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Tom Brady out here. <laughs> That's pretty yeah, sick. hilarious. So if you had to distill in like a couple mm. sentences what you what you learned from that experience, like what information you took from that experience, what would it be? Uh Probably that uh, I would say like probably your fam like your blood family doesn't really mean that <laughs> you're gonna be you know what I mean like because I I've learned like uh, I wouldn't even know how to put that like I see some people say so loyal to their family just because they're related and they're pieces of shit I'm like you don't have to <laughs> like stick out a bad person just because you're related kind of thing yeah yeah you know what I mean it's kind of it's kind of tough because you can only you can only come from a, a shitty family situation to feel that way. Yeah, you know, because I use I I, I I can relate to that because I had a very shitty family situation. Yeah. Ansley kind of had like a traditional, like more traditional family situation than I did. Yeah. So anytime like there was like any sort of tension between her and a family member, it was like just never talk to him again. And I have a good fa- like my stepdad yeah. was fucking amazing dad siblings tight as shit with them like i got 32 cousins we had like a good family but as you get older people start fighting and like yeah yeah i'm just like i just won't fucking talk to you yeah (laughs) or i'll just fake nice to you at christmas like i don't give a shit (laughs) yeah i'm not like letting my happiness get determined by my uncle (laughs) you know like i don't give a fuck i used to be so retarded about this that when i was younger and i would see people be like you know like really distraught about like a a perspective or an opinion that a family member has and like they're not I used to think they were faking it. Yeah. You know yeah like, I mean? How are you upset like, yeah, about? You, yeah. Because yeah, people would be like to me, they're like, you're an associate, man. I'm like, no, I'm just not letting some dude I barely know upset me. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think you might be mentally weak. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, 
Yeah. No, they just love their family, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love my family. Yeah. <laughs> no, I get, yeah. I get what you're saying. Though. Yeah, That's you like, know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I definitely, I love my mom. I love my mom. But it's like. You could also be like. I also might not call her on Mother Day. <laughs> you know what I mean? like you might, you might not get a call. But, Hell yeah. Um, yeah, so all right, that's that's it. That's I, I get that your your family, Damn. your family does not have to be your family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm so I'm so close as fuck with my family, but yeah, yeah. Some people I'm like, well, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna be keeping you at arm's length. Yeah, yo, I get it. Yeah. You get some long yeah. arms to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I got good reach. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now we're gonna open up these chakras from the bottom chakra up. You okay with that? Hell yeah! Should have probably first told you that the first chakra is located in the butthole. You still okay with that? I'm fine with that. All right, uh, Anthony, get the gloves on. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Can I go check myself first? <laughs> I got a butt plug in, so <laughs> somebody got the, the remote control yeah, to the, it, like, yeah. vibrating. Right seat felt weird, dude. <laughs> so, all right, Anthony, take it away. So, Ryan, how did you learn to overcome fear? Uh, how did I learn to overcome fear? My um, I get probably my stepdad probably like he made he he was like a big uh, kickboxing guy when I was growing up, <laughs> so yeah. he used to make me go to fucking like he was like he did kempo karate. You familiar? Yeah, it was like a, like basically hard sparring karate. So he would just take me to that shit and have to like hold. He started off holding kickboxing pads for like adults, and then he's like making you spar with people. So yeah. it's basically he's probably punching that. you in the stomach and chest. Yeah. Dude, my <laughs> dad, said, basically, yeah. My stepdad, he would make me watch Steven Seagal movies and like drink Tang, and then he would just practice <laughs> kicks on me for. <laughs> yeah, remember Tang, dude? Yeah. Like, crushing Tang and then remember beating Tang? my ass. Remember Steven Seagal? <laughs> yeah, Steve, that more, oh, pretty, Steven Seagal. Awesome. Who was the other guy? Uh, you ever see Perfect Weapon? I forget what the guy. Oh, yeah, what's that he, guy's he was, name? Dude, I he ne- was legit. He was one of those. He was one of those action heroes that never became Me, household name yeah, re- yeah. recognized. Put it like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Martial like arts world. He was a beast. Yeah, he yes. was like, like if Claw Van Damme and Steven Seagal weren't yeah. around, we would know his name. Yeah, you know he looked I mean? like like a tough Tom Cruise. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. You know what I mean? Perfect weapon. That was the uh, the the screamer. Yeah, the stick the stick yeah. fighting. Yeah, yeah. Dude, perfect the, weapon. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all Steven Seagal movies. My whole child. Yeah, so he would just bring me like kickboxing gym. So. Yeah. Okay. Kind of <laughs> stop being a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were, were, you, were you a pussy? No, nah, I mean, I guess in the beginning, and then eventually, no. Yeah. <laughs> you get in enough fights, you're like, all right. <laughs> so can you can you remember uh, a time when you were the most scared? I did. Yeah, my first kickboxing tournament, I went in. Uh, How old were you? I was. 18 maybe 17 so five years after finding out that your stepdad killed dad. <laughs> well we would always like i would spar in the gym and shit and then finally they were like oh we're gonna go to a tournament so we went up to like the meadowlands i think mm-hmm. what white plains i think it's him yeah and uh everybody like you go way in in your underwear and i'm everybody's talking shit <laughs> and i'm like about to go out and i fucking had to go shit like vicious diarrhea <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that was probably the most scared is a smoker yeah, basically. Okay, how many tournament. fights did you have that night? I had four. Okay. Four. So, now, for your first fight, you just went from sparring. You've been sparring this whole entire yeah. time. Now, did you know you were going to do this fight, or did they take you up and, like, now that you're here, you're also going to fight? No, nah, they told me. Okay. I could, yeah, I, like, you know what you're I mean? You prepared for yeah, it. Yeah, dieted for a while, cut them. Gotcha. Yeah. And you're in the ring for the first time, <laughs> 18 years old. Petrified. All right. <laughs> Bell rings. Yeah. What's happening? What is happening in your mind? Like, what are you? What I are don't you even f- remember it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what I mean? you got to black out and yeah. just went for it. Yeah. How'd it go? But I had, I had, four, I beat the second dude on points. Other three dudes I KO the body shot. Nice. I think I had just yeah. like your stepdad told yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me. He had the tang in the yeah. corner. <laughs> yeah. Just like just yeah, shaking three it body you. shots. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know if you know this, but Kempo sparring is just. 
from the waist to like the neck area, yeah. just punching each other in the yeah. chest and stomach as but, hard as you can yeah. for like. Is five there much minutes. blocking? This was this was dude, this was a kempo. Bitch. This really? was yeah, this was just straight, no, but, but just like kempo. the way yeah. you were conditioned yeah, like was, in life for that. Yeah, you know that's which is why it was just it was white time, dudes right? in a basement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the most insane shit. It's insane. Yeah, and if you if you if you block, you're a bitch. Yeah, it was kind of like. Do you have like the pads or you have anything? No, no. They're literally they would wear a gi basically but then you just kind of and it's, just is there anything on your feet and hit, like the punch anything no. or it's just bare yeah, no. bare knuckle no. bare feet sometimes they would wear it but the they would put like the old they used to have like now they have shin pads it used to be just like a styrofoam like booty kind of thing <laughs> yeah you remember that? it would yeah, be like yeah, just yeah, up yeah, to yeah. your ankle and they would tip but that was just basically so yeah, I don't know no it was, yeah so it was basically it didn't nothing. make any sense yeah, yeah. And they were yeah. like yeah. hot it was like this thin it was like a um, I don't even know what material you would compare it to it was like, yeah, but it was like a thin styrofoam, but it was like plastic. Yeah. So if it hit your skin, it like stung and it yeah. like ripped your made skin. Made it worse. Because they were all like six-year-old pads. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, they would get like creases and like slice your arms and shit. Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> now, go ahead. Did you get into many fights at school or you were just um, like, you were confident and like you're... I mean, I got into like some fights, but not like a ton. I yeah. think, yeah, the first couple of fights I got in, you just fuck people up so everybody's like, all right, yeah. I guess I'm not going to be <laughs> fighting with this dude. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But I would just get the yeah. I got I would get into fights because of uh what do you want? People would be like, Oh, fo- foster, they'd be like, You're a foster child. That was like uh. that was the roast. <laughs> oh, little like, did they know how foster true that was. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> They're like, None of the I didn't even know for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When hilarious. you when they first told you that your stepdad wasn't your real dad, you were like, Are you guys fucking bullying me? Yeah. Yeah. This, like, this is you guys crazy. been talking to my high school bullies? Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. All right, so yeah, I mean, mm. we'll consider that a, a fear shocker unlocked, just thrown mm. into the fire. I'll yeah, take it's though. pretty yeah, awesome. That yeah. works, right? Well, I am curious though. Did that did that make you less fearful or more fearful now that you know what other people can physically do? Well, to that I way? tell people, I'm like, the better and better you get at kickboxing. You guys do jujitsu and shit, right? Mm-hmm. To, I think the more the higher levels you get into that shit, you realize how many dangerous motherfuckers are out there. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. you become more like. It's like fucking stand up. You do shows with better people. You're like, you get more like, you realize what more people are capable of. So you're like, yeah. Yeah. And we do jujitsu on mats. I'm like, I would never want to do this on concrete. Like, yeah. 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 No, hell no. It's terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. So that again, fear chakra unlocked and take it away. So this next one is your pelvis chakra. It's a segment we like to call my bad. It's a chance for you to apologize to (laughs) a person, place or thing in order to set your karma, your karma back to neutral. Damn. Uh, what would I apologize for? Okay, we just got done doing Ryan's Patreon episode, and boy, was it a good time, man. The tarot card reading was amazing. I mean, tarot Tarot card reading. Sorry about that. But it was absolutely amazing. Ryan, did you have a good time? Yeah, I had a fucking great time. It alleviated my hangover. Sick. (laughs) Dude, it's a cure for a hangover. Yeah, really did. Awesome. We're medicinal now. So you get a license? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Start giving people I can see you marijuana beads. cards. <laughs> 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 so one dollar gets you all of our exclusive content, which includes the counter to the podcast you're watching right now, which is two jo- two I'm sorry, two Jack Bros <laughs> after dark, as well as uh tarot card reading that we do and uh ansley's fight commentary and analysis that we do on her jujitsu matches. So we're in here. We're in here, we're putting out content. One dollar. <laughs> Gets you all of the exclusive content. So now we're going to get back to the episode and find out who Ryan has to apologize to. Absolutely nothing. (laughs) (laughs) No, No, probably. I mean, all the girls I dated in my 20s kind of a piece of shit, too. Uh, Probably the cheat. Yeah, all the cheating stuff. Not good. <laughs> so I'd have to blanket that about four apologies. You know, you know who you are out there. <laughs> not bad. Only four? Three no. to 20s? Well, I had no, like that steady girlfriend. Yeah, about. I'm not going to list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't embarrass me here. <laughs> so, okay, so you're only apologizing to the main the chick long you cheated term, on, yeah, the not long the chick term. you cheated with. Oh, no. <laughs> nah, you hoes know who you are. <laughs> 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 yeah, you knew what, what it was. Yeah, you knew what kind of home wrecking situation you were yeah. getting yourself into. Now, when you think when you when you make that apology is there a specific cheating situation that you remember Uh, that was like the most fucked up just like i mean (laughs) my head uh one of my my best friend his parents like we met each other when we were like 
I, I failed seventh grade and he had failed seventh grade in another school. So we came into the same grade together. It <laughs> <laughs> just became best friends. <laughs> like big as fuck. Like, way, like already way too big I to begin so, yeah. with. <laughs> and he, uh, I actually, he fought in that. So I knocked him out in a kickboxing tournament. <laughs> the <laughs> first we one? Had to, we had to fight the same tournament. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. Time. But uh, yeah, we're best friends. But he um, Body shot or like? Body shot, yeah. yeah. But um, what you gonna call it? Um, what, what was that? What were we talking? About? Oh, the cheating thing. Yeah, <laughs> you're yeah. saying the worst one. I was dating a girl, and my parents threw him a birthday party at their house. And my parents have like they live in the house that my stepdad's grandfather built. <laughs> like, is this a commune? Oh, dude, like, it's, where, dude, where I have do like, <laughs> they, dude, they used is, to have a printing business in the garage. There was a junkyard like in the yard behind the garage. It was like the trashiest. Like, I don't know if we'll be able <laughs> so, to uncover this, but I'm pretty sure he grew up in a cult. <laughs> I wish. Almost positive. We'll, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll yeah. see as we go on. But <laughs> your your best your friend's mom was throwing him a party. No, my my yeah. mom was throwing my best friend. Okay, a party. your mom was throwing your best friend. Yeah, a party. and he uh <laughs> he was hammered and jumped in the pool. And um, like hit his head on the bottom of it, <laughs> and my mom was like hammered, jumped in the pool, got him out, was like looking for me. Above ground pool? Oh uh, no, this oh, is okay. dug out, yeah, hand yeah. dug in ground pool. <laughs> 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 I swear to God, <laughs> it's crazy. But uh, yeah, because it's like it's an in ground pool, and then you look at it, you're like, who the fuck? <laughs> There's like like random like cinder blocks that like you can tell are like patched over. Yeah. And shit. <laughs> But um, he nice. dove in, hit his head, and my mom went looking for me, and I was banging my girlfriend's best friend in the basement. <laughs> and your mom caught you? Yeah. Well, she didn't catch me. I heard her coming. Yeah. So I got up and walked out of like one of the bedrooms in the basement, and um, that just you know, sounds more cultish now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> better. But uh, I walked out, and I was like, what are you doing? I was like, nothing. And she walks in the room. The girl's just standing there. But I was like, fucking hot. At least try to hide. <laughs> yeah. Try. Yeah. Like, lay on the yeah. ground, do something. She froze like a woodland yeah, creature. So my yeah. mom was furious. That's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was probably a bad one. Now, was your mom furious because she knew you, of the cheating, or she was she furious? She was like, you're a dark. She was like, you're just like your father. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, was oh. your girl at the party, too? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> she was, yeah, it was not a, not a good move on my part. Now, this yeah. is, I'm, I'm very curious about this. So when she was saying you're just like your father, she was talking about your biological father, mm -hmm. right? So um, she's only been saying this for about five years at this point. <laughs> yeah, she we couldn't wait to start in, using yeah, that. I'm like, yeah, like, I'm like, oh, all the weird shit you did. high and mighty. <laughs> 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 you had me with him, bitch. Like, <laughs> this on me. Because I look at our son and he does some weird stuff that I'm like, oh my God, you're Sydney's kid. Like she yeah. must have been thinking that Dude, so my many mom, times. Yeah. My mom's always like, when people bring up nature versus nurture. She's like... I, Cause I did, she was like he wasn't around you growing yeah. up, and she was like she would be like your mannerisms or like certain shit you would say or act like she was like it's fucking crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is. I'm pretty sure like before you found out that your stepdad wasn't your real dad. Every time you did something, she was like, she we, we got to tell him. We got to tell him. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking tell I him. always imagine, yeah, the conversations that were happening. <laughs> like, yeah. I was getting yeah. trouble with, my dad's like this motherfucker. <laughs> he's like, he's digging. Wow. So I'm like, I don't know how he didn't beat the shit out of me. Because I'm like, dude, I would be pissed. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I mean, thank you for sharing that. I mean, I know, you know, you, you know apologies are sometimes hard yeah. for people, yeah. but. Appreciate that. We'll call that a pelvis chakra unlock. <laughs> yeah. All you ladies, again, you know who you are. <laughs> my bad. Well, Ryan's my bad. <laughs> it's bad. It's my wanna, bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be associated with any of that. <laughs> uh, Treachery. Yeah, so, Ansley, take it away. <laughs> and your friend was okay, banging his yeah, head he's in the pool. He was he's, <laughs> ever, he's about to have a baby. So we're about to have his baby shower at my parents' house in like a couple oh, weeks. Sick. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Sick. I mean... I don't know. I, yeah. That, He's stay a sweet out of the boy, basement, though. dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm staying upstairs, yeah. hands <laughs> visible. No fucking funny business. My girl will beat my ass. Yeah, it's still funny. <laughs> it's like, why are your hands up this yeah. whole time? It's I just like, put my hands on my head. <laughs> the best thing to do. Yeah. yeah. All right, Anthony, take yeah. it away. So this is your gut chakra. Uh, Ryan, how do you deal with disappointment? How do you move past disappointment? Um, I don't know. I'm pretty good at... Uh, uh, I don't know. I've gotten better at it. <laughs> like, I, cause I'll fucking beat myself up over every. I don't know. I used to be like a way more guilty, like guilty. Con I don't know. I couldn't let you go. <laughs> I yeah. was like pretty bad with that. I was like a vindictive person when I was younger. I'd say, <laughs> like, if somebody pissed me off, I'd be like, 
I don't know. Like if someone like disappointment, I'm taking that as like someone hurts your feelings or something like that, or something doesn't go the way I wanted it to. I would fucking fester over. It. I don't know how I got over it. Kind of. <laughs> I think stand up. Are you finding out you got a lot of skeletons in your closet right now? <laughs> I think. Pro- I mean, I think starting stand up kind of helped a lot. Cause like if you, I don't know. Yeah. Cause I. Yeah. I don't know. I get like kickboxing definitely helped with stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. you're not because you're not gonna fucking win everything. I, I I would say sports maybe. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, you get used to losing shit, but disappointment stuff. Yeah, I've definitely gotten better at it. That's still probably an ongoing issue. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'll fester over shit. Like yeah. So I, I like to ask this question, knowing especially what finding out somebody to sports at a young age. Is there any instance? Of a sports situation, or maybe if you did like theater or something like that, but just any instance of a situation like that where you remember being the most disappointed in yourself? Most dis- uh, pro- the last kickboxing tournament I did. It was like I was like on my way being done with it, kind of. Okay, how old were you at this point? I was twenty six. Okay, so I had like a I had ankle surgery, and like had my ankle rebuilt. I was they didn't want me to go back to kickboxing. I went back to it, and I was doing the tournament. And I no, this was before I got surgery. So this was the last time, like the last time I competed, I just wasn't taking it seriously. Mm-hmm. I had won like a bunch of the ones before, and then I was going up to do another one. The wedding before the fucking, <laughs> the night before the fight, I went. I had to go to a wedding, okay. my cousin's wedding, and I fucking ate a bunch of bread. So I had to wake up and fucking, <laughs> you know what Were I mean? I just like, Were you hung over? No, nah, I wasn't drink. I didn't start drinking until I was. Yeah, this I was. I was not drinking. Okay, but I ate like bread at the fucking thing, and I had to get down to one. I think I was. I did. I, I think I was like two hundred three, the morning of. I had to be one ninety five. Oh. So I went cut weight. The guys in my div- nobody showed up for my division, so I had to fight up a weight again. Oh no! Mm. And I hadn't trained as hard, and I lost, and I was just more like I wasn't even mad about losing. I was pissed. I didn't take it as serious. Like that's when I was like, dude, I don't love this as yeah. much as I used to, kind of thing. Yeah. So yeah, I would say that. Do you remember what your I was just opponent? Furious. Did he have, like was he skilled? He wasn't even good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I would have beat the shit out of it. I was like, t- you know, I cut weight for no reason for something I should have been doing anyway. Yeah. And then I was kind of, I was just like lackadaisical. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I don't even care. So he, <laughs> you know I mean? Is that how he, he just beat you with enthusiasm? Is yeah, like- basically. <laughs> yeah, I was just kind of like, I remember him hitting me and looking over because my one boy was there. And I remember looking over at him. I was like, this is embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, there's a huge difference. It, it doesn't matter how like. How talent? How much more talented you are than a person? Oh, I don't, when it comes yeah. to the moment of performance, uh, whoever wants to be there more, yeah, tends to do better. Yeah, well, and that guy, you, yeah, you can tell when somebody believes in your like. If you feel like you've done as much work as you could have done, yeah. that yeah. puts you such a, like it's like one little click higher, and it's like yeah, yeah. But that was when I yeah I was disappointed in that, but eventually I was just like yeah I'm done. <laughs> yeah. kind of, you know what I mean just stop competing and then yeah so I mean did you make your decision to stop competing kind of like during the fight basically or? yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, kind of, I think I kind of knew before I did the tournament and I was like yeah no I'm just not yeah I mean I'm just curious what that's like because a lot of times when people quit a sport like I quit like I remember when I was playing football I decided to quit football in a football game it was <laughs> yeah. just like nah yeah. this, I'm never doing this again you know but you know you can get your, you know, your lackadaisical effort gets you put on the bench. Yeah. And then I can just sit the rest of the game out yeah, on the bench. Yeah, you just chill. <laughs> so what the hell was it like knowing that you quit kickboxing, but you're like, how many rounds was this? Uh, it was just three. Three rounds? Yeah. How, how long was each round? Three. Three, three threes. So you got, just, not, you got nine, nine minutes. Nine minutes. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I kept... It's not like I was like... I just didn't get the shit beat out of me. I was just kind of like, I'm just going to fucking move. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> like, I'm just not having it. <laughs> I, guess what I'm, I guess what I'm asking is like, what does a punch feel like when you, when you decided you never wanted not to great. be punched again? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, because I still like trained after that, but I just wasn't like... I just went for fun. I always loved it. Like, it's fun. Yeah. But yeah, then yeah. like... I was getting to the point where I'm like, dude, my fucking shoulders hurt. Like, I'm an electrician during the day, so I'm like, I'm yeah. going to work with like black eyes and shit. <laughs> You're like, it just got old at a point. 
And I was just, yeah, I don't know. It, it was definitely annoying because I just remember like waiting, like I'd never waited for the clock to run out kind of thing. And I was yeah. just like, I'm yeah. going to fucking move. I was like exhausted. It was like cut <laughs> weight for no reason, you fat fuck. I was just so yeah. annoying. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, oh, but the rolls good, Brian. Were they good? I'm like, it's like bored eating buttered rolls at a wedding I didn't want to be at. <laughs> and I'm like, now look at you, bitch. You drove three hours to White Plains. <laughs> yeah. Whatever the fuck. It was just a nightmare. But yeah, I would just imagine because like, you know, when you're like, if you're gun ho, like for, you know, cause we, we love grappling, right? Yeah, it's fun. So we grapple all the time and, and, you know, you, you leave grappling with all these little dings and stuff, and you don't even think about them because you just love it so much, yeah. right? And I would imagine the same thing is kind of happening. Like, you don't think about all the little different pains and annoyances that come with just getting jabbed. Yeah. And awesome. I would just imagine that, like... Getting your bell rung for no reason. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's like, like and then, like, you get, you get like, jabbed, and, like, the back of your head, your head snaps yeah. back, and then you start to realize, like, oh, wait, that kind of hurts the back that, of my neck. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's you like... Little weird cuts in your mouth. You're like, I think <laughs> I'm like, done with this. <laughs> I don't, why am I loose blood all the time? Loose, <laughs> fucking loose tooth. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a nightmare. Yeah, it's I feel like wild. I would think about all, like, like, you know, grappling with guys, you're like, ew, they're smelly, they're this, they're that. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, I don't want this dude's butthole, like, near my face. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. It's, yeah, I don't know. Like, grappling's fun. Like, I'll, I think I'll go back to it eventually. Like, go back to grapple. You know, it's yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, eventually. It's a good time. It's, it's a good time. Yeah, so fun. Yeah. So, uh, we'll consider that a disappointment chakra unlocked. Yeah. Yes. Unlock that gut chakra. Yes. Right? Uh, and to keep it moving. Ryan, this is your heart chakra. What have you learned from grief? Ooh, grief. I, um, I don't know if I've... I don't know. I'm not good with. <laughs> I'm like no. I don't know. Like people get mad at me about like going to fu- or yeah, like funerals and shit. I've had, I've uh, like my both of my older brothers passed. Oh, sorry to hear that. Thank How much you. older were they? Uh, two. My one brother, he was two two and a half years older than me, and then his, the older one was a year and a half older than him. Yeah. So yeah, I, was I mean, this is terrifying to well, me to hear this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Th- now was this was this. Drugs. Drugs? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Both heroin. Uh, Man, definitely sorry yeah, to hear that. That's no, all yeah. good. That's, that's, that's a tough thing to watch, I know. Yeah, but um, it was like, because we were, cl- like, I met obviously met them later, so you're like, I would meet, like, I was closer with the one that was closer in age to me. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, you watch people get lost in that kind of addiction shit, and you're like, at a point you get, like we were talking about, like, I, I have a pretty good ability to just cut people off. Yeah. If they're like, because it got to the point where, like, you know what I mean? I've had a lot of friends that have fucking got fucked up on drugs. So you're like, mm-hmm. it sucks because you're like, you wa- you're watching somebody struggle with shit and you want to help them. But then if you've been around it enough, you you can't help anybody with that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, they kind of got to do whatever. So it was like, my one brother died and uh, went to that funeral and... uh which move on, and then like actually they didn't even have they didn't have a funeral. They kind of just had like a like my dad's family just had like this weird fucking like a luncheon kind of thing, and then uh yeah, it's kind of in 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 defense of funerals for people or yeah. services for people who died of a of an overdose. Yeah, typically by the at the point that they died, you've already invested so much into them. Yeah. To and not alienated die. so many people. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> yeah. they were at the it's point tough. where it was like, yeah, and then his their family didn't have no money. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, he died, and then I didn't, I didn't see my dad for like a few, ye- I guess a couple years. And we went out for my thirtieth birthday. My dad hit me up. He's like, "Yo, you want to go get a beer?" We went and get a beer, and we're talking for like, you know, we've had like four beers, so the conversation's kind of hitting a lull. <laughs> and I was like, "How's uh Ricky?" And he was like, "Ricky." He's like, "Ricky." I was like, "Ricky." He's like, Ricky who? I'm like, my oldest brother, Ricky? Yeah. He's like, oh, he died. He's like, oh, I didn't geez. tell you. And I was kind of like, what? what? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Your family is full of surprises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Now, this is your biological father. Yeah. Because we like, we connect, like, I obviously met him when I was younger. And then we would like, drip, I wouldn't talk to him for a year, pop up. Like, so mm. we'd randomly pop up. And yeah, we were talking to yeah, He said that. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I was like, how did you forget to tell me that? Yeah. yeah. How, how long? Yeah. How long ago was it? This like, was, how much time I was, passed? it had, he, he said he, it was, he was like, it was like a year ago. I didn't tell you. I was like, he didn't even give me like a hard date. I was like, all right, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was like, how are his kids? <laughs> like, I don't you know what I mean? June, like, maybe? Yeah. He's a fucking, yeah. I don't know. You just see some dude, you're like, all right, man. 
Yeah. <laughs> he's like a cool guy to hang out with. <laughs> like <laughs> a, a beer bar guy. You'd be like, that's a cool guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. you meet people that he knows. He's like, that guy's kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I, I, I say that about my dad all the time. Like he is, he's the man. My dad is the man. Yeah. Dad, yeah. But should not have kids. No, like he should not be attached. <laughs> cool guy, to bad dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like you have no responsibility. Yeah, I don't did know. Did you uh, did you live in the same town as your dad? I grew like, up. I grew up in. Uh, it's called Feasterville Trevo. It's like uh, you know where the comedy cabaret is. Mm-hmm. I grew up like five minutes from there. Okay. So it's like far north, like Somerton, Trevo's, Feasterville. It's like a weird, like, it's like a little white trash town. Yeah. <laughs> and then he lived in, white trash they in lived in, yeah, yeah. Yeah. they lived in Longcrest and then Kensington. Oh, okay. So like northeast, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> it's not like we would like run into each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then he moved, to, my dad moved to Jersey and then he got married to, I don't even know if he married her, but he moved to Texas with some chick with money. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> That's where he is today? Yeah. Where in yeah. Texas? I think he's in Fort Worth. Hell yeah. Nice. That's where we used to live. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, well, we lived in a place called Euless, which was halfway between Fort Worth and Dallas. Okay, yeah. yeah. I know he's so, I know I'm, it's somewhere near Fort Worth. Hell yeah. Somewhere down there. Yeah, let Just me get his chilling. number. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, grief. Uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, but th- yeah, I don't. I'm not great with it. <laughs> so, do you remember how you handled that? I mean, I was kind of just like, that's fucking sad. But then I'll, I'm like one of those people. Like I'll, uh, I won't act. Like I'll act like shit's fine. And then randomly, six months later, I'll burst into tears because I can't find the remote. <laughs> like one of those people. You know what I mean? yeah. Like something. Like a dog will die, and I'll sob about that. But like my aunt will die, and I'll be like, that's a bummer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm not good. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I got. So did did you have a let it out moment about your your brother? Um, yeah, I think I did. I uh, I forget what happened. I think my my dad called me. I guess two maybe two birthdays ago. He uh, he actually texted me. He was in. He texted me a picture of his legs in a pool <laughs> in Texas. <laughs> Above ground or. Uh, it looked in ground. <laughs> it had lights in it, so his girls got money. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he texted me something about like, b- uh, "Let me call you for your birthday." So he called me up, and I had been drinking. I think we were like, I was drink, you know, I, I, it was right around my birthday, so I think it was like the weekend after. So I was drinking with my friends, and he hit me up, and he's like, uh, he just called me up for my birthday, and I'm listening in the background. And I hear kids running around. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, it's just the kids. I was like, whose kids? He's like, his girls. Because I'm like, how about my brother's kids, you fucking piece of You know what I mean? <laughs> like, kind of lost it and got upset after that. So that was probably, I would say that was it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you have a very delayed grief reaction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. good. It takes four years. <laughs> uh, yeah. And for something completely unrelated. Yeah, completely. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll spaz about Yeah. That's a way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got to sit yeah. here and, and, you know, micromanage another person's <laughs> grief. Appreciate that. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, uh, that's legitimate. Yeah. Yeah, and thank you for sharing that, man. No I know problem. that kind of stuff is hard to talk about. Yeah. Ansley, let's get yes. out of here. So we're at the throat shocker now. What so? What is a favorite lie you have told, and you get extra karmic points if it's still in rotation? Oh man, favorite lie. Mm. What was a what would be a good lie? Yeah, it's really. I'm like a big. I'm a big white lie guy, but then I'm like, I'll lie for like fun sometimes. But I I don't know if I have. What's well, a, that, those are the ones we're talking about. Which what are what are the fun lies? No, like I'm just saying on the spot. I'll just like if I'm talking to a stranger, I'll just make shit up. Yeah. <laughs> like if I'm like bored at like a fucking bar, you know, or something. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. talk to like random people. I'm like, I'm never gonna see this person again. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll just make up some shit. Like yeah, yeah. I used to tell people all the time that uh, like if I would meet people at bars and girls would be like, ask what you do. I would just say I would do like <laughs> webcam stuff. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like I fuck people on camera. <laughs> that was just yeah. Fun, yeah, so that's probably that's one night heavy rotation. Yeah. yeah, did you ever have that lie come back to you? I don't like a girl tell me that. I don't think so. <laughs> or somebody want to be like, be like, yeah. okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, oh fuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. trying to get hard on camera. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I was kind of talking shit. Somebody call your bluff. <laughs> yeah. I go to the gas station. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Fuck, I need a rhino. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess what I'm asking, like, did I that think, did that lie ever come back to you? You have to, like, explain, you know, 
No, I don't. No, I don't. Th- I mean, I no. always would just. It would be like a one night stand lie, and then event like two hours into it, you're like, "Yeah, I was <laughs> obviously you. lying." Sorry. Bless you, bless yeah, you. Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No, I don't think so. I'm trying to think if I had another fun lie I would do. I definitely. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know if I have another fun lie. I remember like in um. Sometimes I think I would when I was younger. I would tell people I was adopted because that that my last name used to be hyphenated for my stepdad to be able to pick me up from school. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? But then you turn like teenager. That, I always feel bad about that shit because I'd be like, "You're not my fucking dad," <laughs> and, yeah. and I'm like, "Dude, I would have beat the fuck out of me." <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. Wait, you 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 told him that? Oh, you told him of, you're not my dad. Yeah, dude, I used to say horrific shit <laughs> when I was a kid. Man, that's pretty wild. And, and that was after thirteen, after you found yeah, out. Yeah, like I was a teenager at that point. Yeah, <laughs> it was wow. like tall. How did you how did you rebel before you found out he wasn't your dad? I would just I was bad as shit in school. Yeah, like, yeah. And then my like I forget who I was talking to. We were talking about something about how much I was like a crazy kid. Like I was like I would like light shit on fire. Like I was like a big pyromaniac, like kleptomaniac. I used to steal like all like. We used to go to, uh, remember Value City? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we used to go and I used to see who could steal uh, DVD players. <laughs> like, but yeah, so I would, yeah. But then it made sense, like as I talked to my parents when I got older, they were like, oh yeah, you were acting out like crazy. Because I was, yeah. So yeah. I guess I found that out and I was like, oh, I'm fine. Yeah. And then you realize, <laughs> like, you're also lighting fields on fire and shit. Yeah. Man, that must be weird to like be somebody, is the, again, you're a stepdad from this kid. Two on. Yeah. yeah. You're the stepdad. You're not the biological father, but you're raising this kid. Oh, 100% yeah. raised me. And he's yeah. he's ba- he's a bad, bad piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was a piece of shit. Like, wh- how <laughs> must that, I guess so, yeah, I, don't, I mean, you must be like, just like drinking his coffee, like, hey, my kid. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, I don't know. He dads his ass off. He's a good dad. Yeah. That's but, what's, uh, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, he was <laughs> when when I graduated high school, my parents threw me a party because they were like, <laughs> they were like, we didn't think this was gonna happen. <laughs> so, yeah, and my biological dad came to the party, and uh, he ended up getting drunk and crying at the end, <laughs> like yeah, sitting yeah. at the fucking bar. Like my parents had like this little like like a fucking you know like a shitty fucking what am I looking the word I'm looking for like a shitty lawn furniture bar yeah in front of the garage (laughs) and uh, he was sitting there crying because nobody knew who he was Uh. (laughs) and I remember looking over at my stepdad like looking at him like beaming I was like hell yeah dude (laughs) you fucking did it baby and he had to like kick him out he's like yeah you gotta go (laughs) yeah you're bombing everybody out (laughs) (laughs) yeah so funny. But yeah. I'm like, for him, that must have felt nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. Hell yeah. Okay. So as far as lies are concerned, telling the, the webcam Yeah, lie. webcam, I'm, yeah, I guess that's the one. Yeah. Uh, did, did you have any lies come back to you as if like you had to explain that lie later on? Get caught. Yeah, with the cheating shit for sure. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that that would that, that would be the without, one I would that get goes put. without saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, no, yeah. nobody because like the effort that it takes to remember to cheat, lies. Like cheating is you're 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 trying to make as much fun out of it as possible. Yeah, and keeping track of lies is not. Fun. It's no, it's boring. So it's like that is the part of cheating that gets the less the the least amount of maintenance. Yeah, and is probably yeah. the most important. Yeah. That's a good way to put that. Yeah. <laughs> You're putting yeah, the eggs yeah. in the wrong basket here. Man. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, but if you do, if you focus on the cheating, or you focus on the lion of cheating, you feel evil. Yeah, yeah, that's you, true. You have to face what that's you're a, actually yeah. doing. Because then you're yeah. gonna be like, you can plead ignorance. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, no, it's yeah, just yeah, an yeah, impulse, yeah. and then it's like, no, you're kind of orchestrating this and now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, yeah, now you're yeah this evil, isn't evil fun boy. anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did you ever get caught with the stealing or the fire and try to lie your way out of it, or were you always just like, yeah, I took it? Um, like, I would lie. Yeah, but I always got caught because I would like we would do shit with like my one friend. That I grew up with down the street, we would do stuff, and then he would get a guilty conscience, and he told he was like, "My belly hurt," and I told my parents, and I was like, <laughs> "What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, this isn't just you, yeah. motherfucker." <laughs> like, I, well, yeah. it's, it's funny that you you categorize it that way, or characterize it that way rather, because uh, the guilty conscience getting the belly ache—that's the gut chakra. Yeah. So that's oh, like shit, yeah. being disappointed in yourself. You oh, actually yeah, that's so it. the chakras. They are energy centers located in these different spots yeah. in the body, and when they are in a disbalance, you typically have a feeling 
associated with that part of the body. For example, like the fear chakras in the butthole. So when you notice when you get really scared, your butthole pucker up. Yeah. Pucker yeah. Up. So, uh, yeah. So you, you gave your, you, you and your homeboy had some lower chakra issues <laughs> that you had to fix. Like, quit snitching, dude. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, yeah, it's a little, little lesson for the people at home listening and watching. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely a throat chakra unlocked. Yes. I appreciate oh, yeah, yeah. you explaining those lies. And, um, Ansley, let's keep it moving. All right, now we are on to the third eye. So we're out of the physical and into the metaphysical chakras. Oh, boy. So what's something that you always thought was the same, but as you've grown up and gotten older, you're coming to find that it's really... Wait, did I mess that up? What's something you always thought was separate, but as you've gotten older, you've learned it's really the same? That I thought was separate? And yeah. Mm-hmm. Man. Um, I thought it was separate. It's really the same. Damn, that's a hard one. <laughs> that's a, uh, yeah. I thought it was separate. It's really the same. I mean, maybe what I, like what I was talking about, like maybe like family and friends kind of shit. That people that, like the people that put so much energy into their family just because they're biologically related to them. Like I'm so much tighter with some of my friends because mm-hmm. you're like, you kind of pick your family with that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You're like yeah. the, definitely the older I get, especially meeting comedian people and you're like, a lot of those motherfuckers, I'm like, you guys don't have friends. That's why you're weird. <laughs> Nobody, you know, you're such a shitty person. You don't have anybody that's like backs you up regardless kind yeah. of shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yeah, I don't, maybe, th- I don't know. Does that make sense? I don't it know does. if that's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm like, some of those motherfuckers, you hear stuff and you hear their opinions on shit. And you're like, I don't know if I want to listen to uh, you're a fucking 40 year old with roommates and you're like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're not even that that matters. You're like, you're a piece of shit. Like I see how you act. So you're like, yeah, mate. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Probably that. That like, yeah. Yeah. You think you're, yeah. Cause most of my, like my mom has like all my boys will like hit my mom up like happy mother's day. Cause she raised like my, a lot of like, my close friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then you're like, you see some people you're like, yeah, that's well, you don't have people like that. Cause you've probably never been cool to be like not yeah. even cool to people. Like never been there for anybody when shit actually happens. So you're, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's also, it's, it's funny because like, you know, we, we, we get to do this podcast this way and we get to interview people from all walks of life and all of these different backgrounds and there is like kind of a commonality where people kind of grew up in a uh untraditional family structure yeah right? and not just an untraditional family structure but a very um untraditional environmental dynamic right like so your environment that you're growing up in is very out of the ordinary right so like yours would be out of the ordinary because you were being raised by a stepdad who, yeah. you know, your mom had, you know, a kid with her best friend's yeah. husband. Yeah. And then you're finding out all these brothers and, you know, that's yeah. like, that's not typical. And I had, like, my grandparents lived in the same house as us growing up. I had, I had, what, three, three different uncles and wives live with us growing yeah. up. Like, I had, <laughs> our house was always just fucking And you're crazy. not Asian. <laughs> no, yeah. No. Right. Or Latino. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's untraditional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not my family, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you're, like, you're having a kid before you get married. Yeah. And you're living with your grandparents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and that's what. So people that have those untraditional family histories are they seem more able to consider friends family. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think if you, if you grow up with so many people like around you, yeah, kind of you know most people I'm like. I don't know. Like people come to my family parties and like this is fucking nuts. I'm yeah. Like, what the fuck? What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is yeah. Yeah, my fi- my family it's always dynamic interesting to is me. fuck is bizarre. My family dynamic is bizarre. And because of that, because of how bizarre it was, I I'm not like uh I'm not beholden to a family member just because they're a family member, which yeah, we talked um, about earlier. Yeah. And it's like more about like how is this person no, you treat impacting me, yeah. my life? Exactly. Yeah. You know, so, for sure. but yeah, that's 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 pretty. It's pretty sick. That's pretty. Not sick. It's just <laughs> interesting how people that come up with like good families, they don't get how important friends are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, you're yeah. Like fucking 
boring. Yeah. <laughs> boring as shit. Yeah, dude. Your parents went to college. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Beach house. Yeah. <laughs> so your mom never put a knife to your dad's throat? Yeah. Okay. I've <laughs> seen my mom pull a knife. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sure. That was crazy. She tried to run me over with her car after I, she called me banging my girlfriend's friend. All right. <laughs> I don't know yeah. why you left that part out of the story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wild. I was trying to stop her. Yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Italian broads, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty pretty wild. Yeah. So, but that's the third eye chakra unlocked. Yes. That's Hell a yeah. good answer. Yeah. And uh, Ansley, take it away. All right. We're at the count crown chakra. Last question. It's Hell a two parter. Yeah. So, what is one thing you want to give? What is one thing you can't give up and why? And what would giving it up mean? Oof. One thing I can't give up. Mm, I don't know if I have, yeah, because I, I mean, I drink, I smoke, I dabble in drugs, <laughs> but there's, I'm never, uh, I'm a big rotate my uh, addiction guy. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> the I'll healthy get, way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll do like Nicorette gum and then I'm vaping and then I'm smoking and then I'm doing whatever, but I'm like, the only thing I've really like ever been really consistent with is working out. I think that's like one of the only things I could never give up because I think I'd go out of my fuck. I think I'd lose my fucking mind. Yeah. Okay. I think that, yeah. Vice what like yeah, yeah. I don't know about yeah. That's really like the only consistent in my life, probably. <laughs> like the old like that I've do, like that I personally do. Yeah, yeah. Um. So what would it, what would what would happen if you stop working out? Like what would you, what do you become? I don't know. I'll get. I'd, I don't know. I've only ever not worked. Out. I when I had ankle surgery, I couldn't work out for six months, and I just got scrawny as fuck, like with like a belly. Yeah. <laughs> like I went the other. You know what I mean? Uh. I mean, I'd fucking get depressed because I'm like, I'm like a pretty energetic person. So if I'm not doing shit nonstop, I lose, like I get two in my own head. I got to like exhaust myself a little bit to be like chill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like if I, uh, like I like to stay busy. So if I'm like, if I'm, I don't know, I can't, I'm not a dead time guy. Yeah. <laughs> like I have a pro Yeah. Like I can go home and chill, but I have to do, I either have to go to the gym, go to work or go to fucking go do comedy shit or yeah. So I think that would probably send me into the biggest like crazy shit. Yeah, is that a yeah? yeah no, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I think that's not, it. Yeah. yeah, we're not here to we're not here to tell you. No, <laughs> I keep Ryan, looking for that approval. That is actually wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Change that, that's please. That's not what you would become if you stop working out, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I think yeah. that's probably it. Yeah, man. Well, that that's that's uh, that's it. That's the podcast. How do you feel? Hell yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I did not <laughs> think I didn't know what I was walking into. <laughs> I was like two Jack Bros, and now we're fucking. Yeah, you thought we were just like yoga studio. Do push-ups for an hour and a half. Yeah, I'm down. Just all burpees, dog. <laughs> yeah, I get the, I'm down. Yeah, no, and, then, and I didn't even ask. Do you have time to stick around for the Patreon? Yeah, I can do that. Oh hell yeah! yeah. Your tattoos are very cool, by the Thank way. You. It's my mom. Oh yeah, oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. Thank um, you. Yeah, so again, I want to remind you guys to check out our Patreon. One dollar gets you all of our exclusive content, which includes the counter to this podcast, which we call Two Jack Bros After Dark, which we're about to have Ryan Foster do, where Hell we're going to yeah. enlighten and uh, awaken his shadow self, right? So we're going to open up your dark chakras. Oh, all it's right. a little dark. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so dark. that's going to be a good time, as well as our uh, fight commentary and analysis on Ansley's jiu-jitsu matches, which we have to get some of those done. Yes. We're going to do it. Yes. And uh, all the other stuff that we put up there, comedy stuff, some stuff about who knows. You know, we just, we're just trying to reach the people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> definitely check out Ryan Foster's shows in Port Richmond, where he does yeah. his Lovable Monster Showcase with Peggy O'Leary. And he also has another show that he does with Peggy O'Leary and Brian Fennell, who is or also Sarah on Sarah Bell and Brian Fennell. Oh, Sarah, Sarah Bell. Sarah, Sarah Bell and yeah, Brian yeah, yeah. Fennell. Yeah, so check that out as well. Hey, Good yeah. stuff coming from this tall drink of milk. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching and listening. We really appreciate you guys. We're out. See ya. See ya. Two Jack Rose.